Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you the wonders of a micro USB OTG cable and you're looking at the packaging in the video right now. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that those of you watching this video are somewhat familiar with unlocking, routing and making backups and restores using a custom recovery as well as installing custom ROMs on your Android phones. The reason I would prefer you to know that is because the main purpose of using this micro USB OTG cable is because I would like to be able to attach external USB flash drives to my smartphone so I can back up my current ROM. Now smartphones do not come with SD card slots, at least some of them, which makes it hard to create large backups. For instance, my HTC One only comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and there is no SD card slot. If I had a ROM that I had to back up and it was 20 gigabytes, I couldn't do it because I would need 40 gigabytes total space. So it simply won't fit on my internal storage. So I need more space. A micro USB OTG cable would allow me to add that extra storage. As you can see in the picture, one side of the cable connects to the micro USB slot on your smartphone and the other side allows me to plug in my flash drive. Now before I do a quick demonstration of the whole thing and how it works, I just want to let you know, make sure you format your USB flash drive in FAT32 file system because if you do NTFS you may get some problems I tried NTFS it did not work I, I, I reformatted my flash drive at FAT32 file system and it's working just fine so make sure you have it formatted in FAT32 file system so let's do a quick demonstration let's do a backup and a, and a restore well we're not going to actually make the backup or the restore but I'm going to show you what to do and how the whole thing works. All right, so here's my phone and the micro USB cable has been attached to my phone and the USB flash drive has been plugged in. Let's turn off the phone. We're gonna go into the recovery mode. Okay, so power off. And then press volume down and power at the same time to launch the boot loader mode. Once you're in there, use the volume keys to go to recovery and press power to enter into the recovery. Okay, so let me just zoom in on this recovery. We're in the recovery. Let me just zoom in on here. And what you want to do at this point is you want to go into the option where it says backup and restore. And when you do a backup and restore, you want to make sure that you do the backup and restore to external SD card. Okay, if you do just tap the backup option, it's going to back up into the internal storage. That's going to mess up the whole thing. You have to make sure it goes in the USB flash drive. So you tap in backup to external SD card, which I'm not going to do in this video. All that's going to happen is you're going to see a bunch of text roll by, and it's going to say backup complete at the bottom once the process is complete. So let's say 10 days passed and now you want to restore the backup you made so you go back into recovery okay but this time you go into backup and restore and you come to this menu and you tap restore from external SD card and I actually already made a backup so you see the backup on the top right there that's the latest backup that I made and if you look at that path it says external SD slash clockwork mount slash backup so you tap this guy and it's going to start the restoration process. Now I forgot to tell you one thing. Before you do any kind of restore, let's go back to the main menu. You have to do a wipe data factory reset and a wipe cache partition so you can remove the current ROM. So when you install the, when you restore the old ROM, you don't want to do any kinds of conflicts in the system. It's going to act weird if you do that. Okay, so make sure you wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition then you restore from external SD card but that's all there is to it so let's reboot the system and go back into the phone but um this is the whole process that's how easy it is 
this is the beauty of a micro USB OTG cable. You can plug in your USB flash drive. It has to be formatted in FAT32 file system. And then you plug the other side of the OTG cable to your smartphone. And now you have an external storage. So you don't have to waste the internal storage of your phone to make backups. Even if your backups are like a gigabyte or two gigabytes, you can still use this flash drive. You can have multiple backups. You can have multiple ROMs. You can also install ROMs from an SD card. So if you have a custom ROM like the Siona Gen Mod, you can put that custom ROM on your flash drive. And then just when you're clicking install in the custom recovery, just say install from external SD card. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, you can also go to my website, SakiTechOnline.com, and there's many, many more videos on routing, unlocking, and custom ROMs. Thank you. Have a good day. And one more thing. If you want to go and buy that OTG cable, I actually put a link in the description below where you can buy for a couple bucks. Thank you.